Rightio, I'm leaving now the Rockingham foreshore area. It's actually quite busy. And I'm heading to the industrial area. So this, this is gonna be the interesting part. Righty, that's the first obstacle, I guess. Hello, dog. So just going past that blue conveyor belt and we're about to enter the industrial area. I'm not sure how much of what I can get through, but the beaches are certainly really nice. So, let's start he heading into that industrial area. This is Quinana now. So it's a public holiday, so everything's shut. And I've just come across the park and the only place open is this bottle shop. So from there, I just got, they didn't have any food. So I got some beef jerky. I got a bottle of water and I got a fizzy drink. It's my banana. This is really chunky, really good beef jerky. Well done. All right, this is looking very industrial now. Let's see if I can fit through there. Oh yeah, that looks like it should be okay. Thank you to whoever popped this one out. All right, we continue on. Looks like another fence. Maybe I'm not supposed to be here. I'll see. It's a beautiful beach, but it's an industrial beach. All right, this is at some kind of port, little marina. I hope I'm not on private property. I've seen no signs that say keep out of anywhere apart from behind the beach. I've gone off just up from the track. It's looking a little bit too industrial for me here. This looks like I'm not supposed to be here, definitely. So I might be turning back. Roddy, I've um, come onto the street in front of the in front of the refineries. It was just getting too many fences, etc., on the beach. All right, I'm back down the beach now. It took a while, a couple of hours. So it's still an industrial area. You can still see the smokestack. Another one of those jetties. Rightio. This is at the end of the beach and it doesn't go any further so I'm going up the staircase. This looks nice. I hope they don't mind me walking through. That's the end of that and I'm heading onto a track, I think. We'll see where this takes us. That's where I've come from and it's turned into a rocky kind of area here and that's where I'm heading. All right, it's about five o'clock in the afternoon so I'm actually a little slower than I thought I would be. This is really different. I haven't seen this kind of stuff in Perth. Uh, well, at least south of the river here. Didn't know it was here. Looks like this whole street is owned by one company. I'm still using it. Look at that. I'm just on the other side of the fence here, but that's a shipbuilding yard. There's a sunset through the industrial buildings. Rightio, it's getting late uh, in the evening. I had hoped to be there about an hour ago. So it's just uh, about 6.45 in the evening. I'm probably only about half an hour away. All right, you probably can't see much, but that is the Coogee Beach Jetty. And where the lights are down there, that's where I've left my stuff. There's the shower for tonight. It's an anchor. Oh, yep, that's a good spray. All right, this looks like where I'm getting some dinner. It looks like it's the only place open. I'm having fish and chips for dinner. Hello, sir. Can I just get one serve of fish and chips, please? So it's getting pretty windy, so that's the dinner. I didn't have any choice because it's a public holiday. So that's a piece of fish and some chips. And I'll get my stuff and get sorted out for the night and I'm pretty tired. It is 5.30 in the morning. I hope there's enough light to catch through that. That's my tent now. I'm gonna pack up. I'm gonna pack up really quickly and get moving so I don't get spotted. All right, so I'm gonna hide my bag where I left it yesterday. No one's gonna see it there and come pick it up at the end of the day. This in the background is an old power station and they're gonna develop it. It's a part of all this industrial coast that they used to have. They say they're gonna turn it into a housing estate, but you can't get in there anymore. And I'll show you why. This used to be a hot ticket item for urbexing in Perth, but not anymore folks. Razor wire, robocops, 24 hour security guards, 
It ain't happening anymore, folks. Look at that, that's got a bit of speed on it. Okay, that's where I came from. The sun is now up. And that's where I'm going, to Fremantle. Just come off the beach a little bit, and there's a cafeteria here. So I'll get some breakfast. So I got a sandwich from that shop desk down there. Yeah, oh, that's good, that's good. I think that's the end of the beaches. So we'll see what we find here. That keeps me out of their very exclusive yacht club. Look at that. This is the fishing port in Fremantle. And this is a pretty trendy place. There's a lot of places to eat here. This is where the fishermen park their boats. These places are very busy on the weekends. All right, my new friend. Hello, how are you? This is an old tunnel built by whalers to get access to the beach in the early days. And this is just above the tunnel. And this is an old prison. Look at that view. That's the fishing boat harbour that we went through. And we're going to head in this direction into the shipping harbour. This is where all the freight etc comes in. And there are some restaurants and pubs around here as well. So just out the back of the port of Fremantle is the train station and I'm going to catch a train home and I'll drive my car out to pick up my stuff this afternoon. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning and it's been a really nice walk actually. Very pleasant. 